Step one, the seatbelt grab. Alright. To seatbelting, you're going to need to know the seatbelt grab. It's all in the name. Um, Alright. So when you do the seatbelt grab, it's not just any random seatbelt grab. It's the shifty seatbelt grab. So I'm going to do this shifty seatbelt grab for you. So, you know, that's a shifty seatbelt grab. And the reason I'm doing it in the air is so you can see it more clear. And the difference between a shifty seatbelt grab is you don't go as far. That's a shift. That's just a regular seatbelt. All right. So, Gino, if you could go to the trick guide and show them that. All right. Now, I'm going to teach you how to get the spin. Alright, so hopefully, if you guys are trying to learn how to seatbelt uh, on Skate 3, you should know how to do a nollipop shove it. Or, is it still a nollipop? Yeah, still a nollipop shove it in Goofy. Alright, so, you should know how to nollipop shove it. Um, when you nollipop shove it, it's in the air and hold it, like not actually do the dolly pop show it, but you do the rotation with it in the air, so like you'd ollie and hold it, and that'd make you do a tweak, instead of this. People, that might look like it's right, but your nose isn't pointing down with it. That's tweaking it, and you're going to have to do that with your seatbelts, and that's pretty much how you do the shifty seatbelt thing that I was talking to you about in the last step. So, what you can practice on here is, is just doing something like this. And landing it. But make sure when you do this, you're practicing just doing this, is you don't hold, like you don't push your uh, right thumbstick all the way up. So you drop it like that. Alright? You just want to kind of hold your right thumbstick in the middle of the top of it, like the top of the uh, the manual part, or in the middle. So it's kind of like, yeah, so just hold the nose manual, like part, yeah. And um, you want to tweak it like that, and you'll end it. And that's going to help you with your seatbelts. Yeah, all right, end it. End it. Just cut out those last parts that I say, like, after. Alright, putting it all together. Alright, now that you've learned the shifty seatbelt grab, and also just tweaking your, uh, just tweaking it, uh, now you're gonna learn how to do the seatbelt. Alright. So you put those together, you put, and this is the main thing, remember, you gotta do this. Oh, wow. Alright, you remember, you gotta do that. But, when you do that, be in a faky nose manual this time, instead of just popping it up, and do a, and do a seatbelt with that. And you'll land it, like you were doing before, just on flat ground. Tap. Just tap LT, and if you're in Goofy, tap RT. You don't gotta hold it. Just tap it. Done. Alright. Alright guys, step one is basically gonna be learning to grab. So, learning to grab is gonna be really simple, as long as you know how to seatbelt. So the seatbelt, I'm just going to go to this trick guide for you guys so I can show you guys from the trick guide. And again, I'm on regular, I mean I'm on Goofy, excuse me, so everything on Goofy is basically the opposite. So yeah, but as you see right here, it's right stick up for a seatbelt and it looks something like that when you're in midair. But we're not going to want to do this, we're going to want to do the front side shifty seatbelt. So it should look something like this. As you see, it looks like he's bringing it around a little bit. So let's do that one more time, and then I'll show you guys how to do it in the game. So as you see, it's right stick up, and then you 
RT and move it to the right so all that formation like all that put together is just simply a pop shove it by, but you're holding it to the right after the pop shove it is done so uh, if I go to the flip tricks and show you guys the pop shove it I'll show you right here um let me just look for real fast All right, so as you see right here, it goes up and around. But once you get to the bottom part of the arrow, like right where the arrow point is, hold it there. Do not let that go. That's what you're gonna want to do. But also, you want to tap RT with it. So the front, like the shifty seatbelt, is basically a pop shove it with the right um RT if you're on goofy, and it's LT if you're on regular. And it's obviously you're spinning it the other way if you're on regular because everything is opposite but that's really it guys it's basically do a pop shove it and hold RT now I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like in the game so I'm gonna go over here and just basically do it off of a cliff so as you see that's just a regular seatbelt but a shifty seatbelt I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like right now a shifty seatbelt is just simply this now as you see my guy is basically turning his whole body with the board so if I do that on the floor it should look something like this something a little bit more better and a little bit more cooler and the reason why I'm on easy is because I'm basically showing you guys is the best way to learn but I will show you guys how to do it on normal as well but when you do a regular seatbelt it does not do nothing it just puts your board back down but if you do a shifty seatbelt I just see it brings you around like a 180 so I'll show you that one more time it basically brings gives you an extra little spin when you do it let me go on goofy and do this Oops, I don't know what just happened right there. But I just see right here, one more try. I just see it brings you straight around. Alright, so when you do a seatbelt, I mean, a shifty seatbelt on flat ground, it basically rotates you into a 180 position. Alright, guys, but that's basically step one, so stay tuned for step two. Alright, guys, step two is basically going to be getting the spin. Getting the spin on a uh, shifty seatbelt is really fun and really easy to do. I actually do this just to mess around when I'm playing with my friends online. Just because it's fun, you get extra, a lot of extra spin actually when you do do this. So I'm just gonna show you an example real fast. Well, I'm on, I'm like a real, I'm in a like really high like area right now, so it's not gonna show me that much spin. So I'll probably come up here and show you guys real fast on how much spin you can actually get. Oops, I guess not. Alright, I'll just show you right here. So as you see, you just get like all that spin. I just got a 540 off of that little thing right there. And as you see, I'm basically doing it right now. Now, once you got down to shifty, like this part right here, once you, once your body is like rotating at 180 when you do it, you're basically gonna want to learn how to do that with a manual. Now, to do it on flat ground, you just basically do a shifty seatbelt, and it should automatically. You don't have to touch your right, your left stick when you do this because now I'm just gonna place my session marker right here but now when you do a shifty seatbelt it automatically spins for you I'm not even touching my left analog stick just all you need to do is touch your right analog stick when you do this okay so now it's basically putting it into a manual is really simple now this so you guys can so basically excuse me I'm trying to stutter I'm trying to get this out correctly so you guys don't get confused so now you basically want to do a shifty seatbelt and land in the manual so shift the seatbelt and I just see right there that was a seatbelt right there and you keep on doing it I just see right there I got it again and you keep on doing it and doing it and doing it and it basically keeps your all your tricks in one sequence and when you land it it basically all your points will add up together so it's really cool if you're doing it on like best trick or something like that alright so basically to do that is just simply you need to go into fakie position do whatever trick you want and then simply do the front the uh, shifty seatbelt like I told you before but don't like bring like don't hold the analog stick up because you it'll just bring it down like when you do it after you're done with the, after your body as you see your board go around like let go like go back to the manual like at, right when you're done with the pop shove it and you see a board like fling around like this go back to a nose manual position don't hold it on the, don't hold it all the way up to the top because they'll just bring you back down like try to hold it so it like it's in a manual position like that so if I go to this little thing right here on screen help and manual analyzer so as you see right here 
I'm, I'm holding it like halfway in between. Don't hold it all the way up because it will bring you back down. So if I look at you, if you look at the manual analyzer right here, as you see, I did it correctly. And if you if I hold it for too long, it should look something like this. As you see, it brings you straight down. And that's not gonna wanna. That's not what you gonna wanna do. So you're gonna wanna basically do it, but. Like right when you're done with the pop shove it, hold it in a manual position, a nose manual position. Alright? That's basically it guys. So that's basically how to get the spin. So yeah, stay tuned for step three. Alright guys, step three is just basically putting it all together. Um it's really really simple. Once you guys got down the shifty seatbelt, like this thing right here. And your body, your body's like spinning in a 180 position without you using the left analog stick. You basically got it. And then once you did that, you basically gonna want to use it with a, like do a manual right after you did that. Like hold it in a manual position, like I said in step two, right when you're done with step two. I mean, right when you're done with the shifty seatbelt. Like right when you're done with the shifty seatbelt, basically put it, your your right analog stick back into a nose manual, and you should land a clean um little seatbelt. Now to do it on normal is really simple as well. Many people thought it was really hard. However, it takes a little bit more of your patience. But once you practice it on easy and get it down packed on easy and you can trick line with it and you can do everything like that with it, it should be really simple. Alright, so I know many people that had problems with this like me. I'm not that good either. But however, I'm not bad. But it's as you see right there, I hold it I, I held it too like long. So I do it again. I just see right there is a half cab. It wasn't a full 360, so that means that you have to hold the pop shove it a little bit longer. And as you see, it said pop shove it 360. So right when you don't see that little half cab, that means you did a perfectly clean little um, seat belt. So I just see another half cab. I'm not the best at this. I'm not. I'm just saying like I know how to do it, but I'm not the best like scrumpy and all these guys because. Now you're on normal, so it takes a little bit more skill and a little bit more of your skill level to do it or whatever. So basically, when you're on normal, you basically gonna want to do it fast. And once you you do it, you're gonna want to the basically the shifty tweaks it for you, so you don't have to worry about tweaking because that's what the seatbelt does for you. Basically, it basically puts you in the nose manual, what and don't let you touch the floor or whatever, and keeps your your trick line going or whatever. So I just see I'm on 5k right now. And once you get really good, you can basically throw some dark catches in here and keep on and like do dark catches with it and have fun with it. It's really not hard at all, guys. I wish I could show you my controller view of my hands and show you guys how to do it from there, but I really can't because I don't have a, a little camera. So I hope this tutorial, I guess, was pretty good. Um, I used mines and scrumpies just because scrumpy was a little bit or way better than me. I had this little seat belting and I just thought. It'll be fun to have a really good competitive person showing you guys how to do it and a person like me, an amateur, like showing you guys how I do it and basically my version of the tutorial. Alright guys, but sorry for making my part so long. I just wanted to basically get it down packed for you guys and show you guys how to do it. But again, I'm not the best at this. I'm still learning. So don't go in the comments saying that I suck because yes, I know I suck. But however, I will get better and I will learn how to do all that stuff but anyways more videos coming soon um me and scrumpy and a whole bunch of my other friends are going to be recording a whole bunch of other videos like how to shoot flanka how to all that kind of stuff so stay tuned for all those videos and until next time see you guys real soon peace out